All right, Shalom. First, I can start by saying our praise to Yahweh by Hashem, by Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, that my honors to the elders and apostles, that we will, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. This is um, just a quick video. Um, this was posted, oops, lock it, April 5th, 2020. It says, Hammond Church busted for violating stay at home order. And uh, the purpose of this lesson is basically because the more and more people violate these uh, stay at home orders, just like in Milwaukee, they have, um, it, I think it lasts about two weeks before everybody starts to come back outside. Uh, basketball courts were packed. You know, you see more people on the streets. Um, I didn't get to read the news article, but there's, they uh, got it in the news that um, the one, the alderman is going around trying to tell people not to be out on the streets. Two, the uh, bus stops are filled with people now. Uh, I, I drive Lyft, so I notice an increase in uh, passengers. You know, everybody is not taking this coronavirus situation serious. But also, this can be used to um, uh, help further agenda, the agenda because uh, Esau goes um, on a doctrine or philosophy, same thing, um, as order through chaos. And, they, you know, they want people to get upset, you know, and get mad and, you know, um, resist the government. You know, and eventually uh, lock, they're going to eventually lock horns with the police, but then that's going to help them bring down, I mean, bring uh, more of their agenda to pass. It's like they're being all over the place. But I'm going to play this clip and then uh, go to the uh, next clip. Seven people have died. Police in Hammond, Indiana, stop a church service defying statewide stay at home orders. Neighbors called to report dozens of people heading into the Church of Christ at 169th and Leland. Officers went inside and found 30 to 40 people gathered for Palm Sunday. Some wore masks, but most did not. Hammond's mayor says the pastor ignored officers who told everyone to leave. I think that just the fact that they had the first service, they violated the law criminally. And I'm going to speak to the prosecutor about that tomorrow. Um, if they were going forward with the 5 o'clock, it would have been more serious. Our community is not going to back down from church going. Our community is not going to back down from the coronavirus. Church leaders argued their service was essential and not subject to the governor's order. Officers issued citations. Right. Now, um, I'm going to grab a precept for that really quick. Because Israel, the Israelites are not supposed to be in any of these churches uh, to begin with. And um, hold on. because the pastors are not preparing them for the days to come. So. This is um, Acts chapter 7, verse 48. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, right? And you know, the mason bricklayers put them temples together. As said the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, right? So you can't confine the Lord to no temple. The temples were done away with a long time ago. Said the Lord, the people became the temple. Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? These are basic scriptures to us that are in the know, but to Jake them that I don't have the knowledge, it's like, what? You know? But this is uh, Acts chapter 17, verse 24. The Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worship with men's hands. I'll let the clapping and stuff that they do. Or, or the praying. As though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Right, this is plain to us. That are in the know, man. And then it's gonna be playing to the, whoever the Lord wanted to be playing to, you know. 
Jake might understand this, but, you know, don't understand everything else that's in the scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 13, verse 1, it says, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say unto them, unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts, right? Because they tell you, you supposed to be in church. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shemar Shai, woe unto the foolish prophets, them so called pastors and preachers, that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing, right? The Lord ain't sure revealed no mysteries and no understanding to them. You know, they going after how they feel and what they think should be going on, man. A lot of these churches are, um, a lot of these churches are, um, if not all, are uh, under 501c3 charters. O Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye, ye have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the heads for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord, right? So these pastors are supposed to be telling the Israelites, the Black Stones, Native Americans, who they are and uh, what's to come and getting them ready because knowledge is going to be the stability of our times to uh, uh, um, endure these uh, race riots, the uh, RFID chip, the mark of the beast because they pushing that agenda also. You know, the uh, third world world's war, you know, not having any food, but they're not doing that, man. So, uh, the Lord is uh, having making everybody focus now with everything that's going on. But, you know, that's just one clip, man. Esau is using the, these executive orders or um, events like this to help front his agenda. Um, you know, starting from his executive orders, man. Uh... <sighs> <laughs> This isn't just happening here. It's happening all over the um, world. That's you know these people are resisting the uh, uh, orders of their uh, presidents to stay in in the houses. And um, I haven't got to look into detail on uh, what's going on in um, the Philippines, but Duterte, if I'm not mistaken, uh, said that if anybody disobey his police force or his military, just go ahead and kill him. And that's coming to America. And these birthday parties, our people be worshiping the devil, worshiping idols, you know, with these parties and stuff, you know, worshiping themselves with these uh, parties, birthday parties and stuff. That's why they begin these judgments. But this is just to start. Uh, I'm just basically just trying to uh, uh, point out that Esau are going to use stuff like this to uh, help and uh, to help uh, to, uh, you know, take it to the next level. He got the National Guards in these cities. Everybody knows of the FEMA region, or supposed to know of the FEMA regions right now. Um, and the National Guards, once they hit the streets, they're going to enforce um, that everybody be in their house. And, you know, people are going to go crazy and whatnot. You know, you got people with sicknesses, people that can't sit down, have to work out, but their house is not big enough for them to work out or whatnot. But, you know, the Lord going to put the spirit on the people to revolt eventually and there's going to be a lot of people getting executed summer executions all the above you know but um yeah that's just uh, uh some of the things to come
This is Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. These devils and Edomites and police officers are the Lord's sword, man, from, from men which are thy hand, O Lord, from men of the world which have their portion in this life, the elites, and whose belly thou fillest with thy hid treasures. They are full of children and leave the rest of their substance to their babes, right? They pass everything down through their generations. But these Edomites and, the, and these Polish force is Esau's sword, you know, and it's soon everything is going to turn up to where he comes down upon the people. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, which is Esau, the white man, is come down unto you ha having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. You know, and like the scriptures say, people are going to begin executed. Because eventually they're going to rise up against the government. <clears throat> this second Ezra chapter 15 verse 16 it says it says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power right for there shall be sedition uprisings against the government man and that's what's coming man but with that being said, all praise to Yahweh Shema Rashad, the honors to the elders and apostles of who will, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.